Sophie, I'm inside. There's no sign of Barney yet. You have to find him. He has to be in there somewhere. I'm looking. Oh, no, no, he can wait. He can wait. Good there's crystals. Why is that red? Barney, answer me. Now. I found him and he's dead. Satan, I found a radio and a body. Male, white, bald man. I'm sorry, Sophie. <sighs> That's not Barney. That's Kodak, one of ours. Barney can't be far. Investigation. <laughs> To take care of ourselves as well, right? Is that a big guy? Is like a big guy? For fuck's sake, how much does the ship weigh? That's all. 
fuck. Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? Hey, Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You won't get it. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, we found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. A stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even... Keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney, I'll count to three. One... Two... Three... Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! Oh, great. for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie. We gotta find Bertie. Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? So we are following no, I'll take that. Following these. Okay. I'm going out here then. I need to go back inside. Blood must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. Hey, you find Birdie? And I wasn't going down without a fight.
Stairs, isn't it? Who are you? The maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? <coughs> yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <clears throat> I pulled it off. <clears throat> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <clears throat> Listen. <clears throat> it's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... <clears throat> over there. My radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta. Hello? Mom. <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost. Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got them. The crystals. We got them. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe. Barney promised. Sure. Oh. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan. What's going on? And he died. All because he... Ah, oh, that sucks. Barney. You there? Barney? Aiden. You there? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach your brother. Barney's here already. Just arrived. He... what? He was supposed to... I didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. He sent me to check on his friend so he could sneak away? It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar. I'll explain everything. Oh, you better have a good explanation. It's not like that. Then what is it like? are better for us now right depends doesn't it veronica the guy was a prick the pk were a pain in the ass with him in charge conclusion's pretty straightforward lucas is gone things are better for us amen it'd be better if you just shut up barney where's sophie you again what are you doing spying on me you were supposed to wait for me Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim. And they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me. That it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you. So go bother her. I'll do that. She has a lot to explain for. Pilgrim in the bazaar? Ah, not a kick. If I were him, I'd clear out the door. He's a 
murderer! Aiden, tell them! Tell them Marco poisoned the water! Stop blaming others for your crimes! Aiden knows the truth! What are you waiting for, Ed? Hold on. This is serious business. So let's hear what Aiden has to say. <clears throat> Bevan's husband, Luke, he's dead. Julian says you know the truth. So tell us what you know. What's in it for me to say anything? A clear conscience? I thought I could expect more from a pilgrim. Aiden, please, don't make this a negotiation. A man has died. I visited Julian's supplier. There's nothing wrong with his water. I told you, string him up. But, but I didn't poison the water. Guys, Aiden. Get him out of my sight, Ed. Stop, please, don't do this to me. Let's go, Julian. You can plead your case to the council. Why can't why can't I just lie to him? Like it was clean, like it was it wasn't clean. That is so bad, really. Have you got anything? Well, hello, pyramid blade, looking really nice. Hmm, looking very nice indeed. I'll take that. That's the stuff. Stop picking these up. above lola is complete once more you deserve a reward do you wish lola to reward you with a song no um uh, no thanks i really gotta be going how sad how i wish to serenade my conquering hero no please don't you deserve a more proper reward than a song anyway thank you take this with lola's deepest gratitude <laughs> Thanks. Hey, then, what you got for me? I found these filters for one. Mm, okay, not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Uh, Hubert broke his leg, so I went and got the goods for him. He could use a doctor, or at least someone to look in on him while he's on the mend. Oh, yes, he'll definitely need a doctor. What are you talking about? You know what they say, trust in God? 
But break your camel's legs, just in case. Guten Tag. <laughs> what? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone, and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. Are you fucking out of your mind? No need to get all broken up about it. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Mio? Yeah. How can you be so sure? Any idea how many people half assed has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Now, thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Eden. That's the problem. I don't even know where he lived. Can my local direction bring him bring me back to him? I don't know. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? I didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, 
When he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they're real, tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Mm -hmm. That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. And all these people, don't they know anything? Not how low the water reserves have gotten. I was gonna handle it, but Carl was afraid of causing a panic. Instead, he went to the PK for help. Of course he came back empty-handed. They're only here to help themselves, certainly not us. They could care less that Joe took the tower and demanded protection money. My mother used to say, never bargain with extortionists, when she was still in charge here. Wait, so before Carl took power, you... She led the bazaar with an iron fist, and Carl listened to her. After her death, he became full of himself, and he got cocky. Well, didn't your mother want you to succeed her? I know what she wanted for her people. Community and freedom. That's what she always said. But don't ask me what she wanted for me. I don't know if I even existed for her at all. She was a great leader, but a shitty mom. Mm. What are you going to do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're going to pay off Jack and Joe. And they're going to keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Oh. Molotov cocktail. So how does it look right now? Journal? Points. Sportbow. Rumor has this model was used at the Olympics. Huh. Noted ability as well. Tomahawk. Damn, you have some nice stuff here, man. Yeah, some really good stuff. Holy. 
Okay, not that one, but uh, finally get a bow. That's a two-handed axe. Um, the, it is for infected, but how, how much? I can actually buy all of it. That'd be neat. But we do need a bow. Why did nothing happen? Stands meter damage versus humans versus infected. Why can't the bow break? Why? Why can't the bow break? Okay, we're going for that one first because I think that one looks really nice. Secondly, with this one. Thirdly, we will go with um, that one, I think. This one? Oh. I don't think that was used in the Olympics. Let's see, we're going with fire. We're going with... Um, I would like this one because it was really nice. But I can go with that one. Wait, that one. We need to find blades or weights. Can I help you? Uh, hopefully. I'm looking for work. I'm sorry. Harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. Wait. <sighs> Take this. A little sweetness for the surplus. Mom, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes, and not based on rumor or innuendo. Thanks. Thank you indeed. We want here. I'm just gonna buy all of them. The inventory, that one grip, this one. There we go. Humables. Grab that. Oh, a lot of that. Nine of them. Thank you for bringing Lola her mink, my dear boy. Lola and her mink stole together again. Thank Aiden, you. did you really pull Not Barney good. out of a dark zone? Wow. Yeah, 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 we need to go and check on Birdie. And I'm not Birdie. You be. I want to make it day. I'll be able to locate this place during day. I don't know where. Man, I'm so thirsty. It wasn't that far away, I remember. You were supposed to be with me. Go shouting in the middle of the bazaar. There, they surprised me. How was I supposed to know they had you here? Let's think. Let's 
somewhere high up. It wasn't in, I think it is in this region, but where? Aiden, something's up. Susie, you there? Sophie, we're under attack! What? Susie, what's going on? Where is that place? It's a bigger building. It wasn't close to the hospital, I'm very certain. Oh. Find my bearing yeah. somewhere. What's this way? <laughs> 